I think he's looking at this now and just thinking like this is horrific. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another edition of Western Wednesdays. Uh, it's actually absolutely glorious out here today. Um, finally got it our summer. It hasn't been this nice since like the first week of June. With so much rain, it was so dreary, so dull, but it's like 25 degrees today, which I think Fahrenheit would be about mid-70s, kind of 76 maybe, something around then. Um, probably not too hot for a lot of you Americans, um, but for our, here in Ireland, this is like exceptionally hot, exceptionally warm. But I'm not complaining, because I love the sunny weather. Um, just puts you in a good mood. Uh, but anyway, uh, to the film I'm watching today, it is The Oxbow Incident with Henry Fonda. Um, obviously, I've been a big fan of a lot of his westerns. Um, in particular, I loved like Fort Apache, My Darling Clementine, uh, The Tin Star was really good. And I also think he played one of the best villains I've seen in the western in um, Once Upon a Time in the West. So, yeah, him being in it obviously makes me excited that it should be a good film and I've heard good things about it. I uh, don't know really much about the premise though. Um, just that Henry Fonda is in it. And I think it's from the 1940s, I believe. Uh, but guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, uh, a like and a comment would be fantastic. And if you've been enjoying the content for quite a while, a uh, subscription would be amazing as well. Just again, helps the channel grow. Um, and uh, I also have a Patreon page, so if you'd like to support me further, there's a link in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, but with that said, guys, let's watch the Oxbow Incident. Nevada, 1885. Ooh, is that a bloodhound? I love bloodhound. I'd love to have a really nice breed. I'd love to have one. Dead in a Paiute's grave. Do you know that guy? <laughs> that guy looks familiar as well. That guy's awful slow getting there. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. Always in reach and never able to do anything about it. Interpretations of a painting, how you look at it. I got a feeling she could do better. You're boasting. Well, what's on your boy's mind? Something have to be on my mind? Uh, he's just getting around asking if his girl is still in town. His girl? If you mean Rose Mapin, no. She went to Frisco the first time. Remember the last year? She said she'd wait. That's a fact. I see Risley's still around. The sheriff? I thought he never got closer than Reno, except on special calls. Find out it's somebody they know? Maybe. They lose some more this spring? Some. How many? About 600 head draw. 600? Wouldn't everybody Jeez. know if there were strangers around? Sure. And there hasn't been any, except you two. Ooh. That ain't funny. <laughs> now who's touchy? You're t a lot of things around here ain't clear. Such as? Still talking about rustling? And strangers. Oh. Still so far away. Say, ain't that guy got there yet? <laughs> Jeez, that guy's going a mile a minute. Pretty sure in a hurry. Who the head of you? Why in a hurry? What had happened? Down in the southeast corner of the valley, about eight miles from his ranch. No, sir, but Olsen did. He found him laying in a dry wash in the sun. Shot right through the head. Jeez. Working that range down there. Did Olsen send you for us? No, sir. He's in such a big hurry, he just yelled at me to go get the sheriff. <laughs> Rustlers? Looks that way. Who was it they got? Kincaid. Kincaid? Farnley's buddy? These fellows will go a long way to get the guy to kill Larry Kincaid. Lynch him? Hmm. I judge. And if they have got a five-hour start, it's a good 500 miles to the first border. Besides, there may be a bunch of them. Better wait till we know what we're doing. We're all with you about Kincaid. You know that, son. Only we ought to take our time and form this posse right. Thank you, posse. Somebody better get the sheriff first thing and Judge Tyler. Oh, what do we want with old Tyler and his trial? Chris Hoyt. Remember, this ain't just rustling. It's murder. Wait a minute, men. 
Don't let's go off half cocked and do something we'll be sorry mm. for. A legitimate manner. He's Not right. like a lawless mob. Trouble with you, Davies, you've been storekeeping too long. You don't see no profit in this. The fellas had offered to buy the rope from him. <laughs> <laughs> if we go, you're going with us, fat gut. Down in Texas, where I come from, we just go out and get a man and string him up. That's right. I say stretch him. Not gonna affect, but I'm sure they have, have the right guy who did it, though. I'm worthy of Farnley. I'm going to get me a gun and some rope, and I'll be right back. Come on, boys! Get your guns! I'm pumped up now. Listen to me, men! Hey, don't lose your heads like this! You mustn't do this thing! Will you do me a favor, Carter? That depends. I'm sending Joyce here for the sheriff and Judge Tyler to help explain. Well, you know how Hart and I stand here. We came in at a bad time. I've got to stay here and see if I can't stop him. Maybe you could get the flowers. Boys wouldn't begrudge a few flowers, even for a rustler, so long as it's a good dead <laughs> I hope that guy is killed. I'm not going, Father. Do as I say. Perhaps this will do what I've obviously failed to do. Make a man of you. Wants him to kind of prove himself. Where'd the sheriff go? Down to Kincaid's ranch early this morning. Ooh. When will he be back? He didn't say. Couple... That's a relief. So the sheriff was down where Kincaid was. What can I do for you, Maybe gentlemen? he was involved. Or was killed as well, maybe. Mom. It'll be a posse when I get there. I'm gonna deputize them all proper. It's not one of those things as well, like where so. someone has died. The 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 idiot guy talking there right now. He's almost taking joy in the situation. Do all the real work signed up. It's like this person has died and he's happy he's died because now we have the situation where they can go and just on the hunt for this man to kill him. You know? So it's like, he's pleased this person has been murdered. Because now they're in this situation. You know? It's... I just thought we ought to have a reverend along because there's going to be some praying done. Whoa! Well, boys, what are we waiting for now? Judge Tyler. I understand how it is, men. My old friend, Larry Kincaid. Of course, you can't flinch from what you believe to be your duty. Certainly, you don't want to act hastily. In the same spirit of lawlessness. Ah, uh, Judge, before you get ready to act, them rustlers will be clear down over the Rio. Smith and I'll have you up for impeding the course of justice. Judge, you can't impede what don't move anyway. <laughs> don't have to worry, Jeff. This business is going to be taken care of. Me. I tell you now, whoever shot Larry Kincaid ain't coming back here for you to be a lawyer's tricks for six months. And then be let off because Davies or some other whining old woman claim he ain't bad at heart. Kincaid didn't have six months to decide if he wanted to die. This banding mm. man? Just about convinced That's us. an interesting Mr. point he raises. Uh, what, but Davies? Why, uh, you uh, can't go about it take this it way. You were acting on the assumption the Raiders left. Why, yes, of course. They didn't. They went east by Bridges Pass. That's through the mountains? Major Tetley, you mustn't let this be a lynching. It's a case of what I choose, Davies. Promise me you'll bring them in. Tetley, you know what's legal in this case as well as I do. All we ask is a posse to act under a properly constituted officer of the law. But well, that's not legal. No deputy has the right to deputize. How about it, boys? Suits me, Butch. Go ahead and pray. I do. I think a word, especially back then, it's something that's very strong. I still think if liable, some will uh, not abide by those words. Some clashing here, I think. Maybe among themselves in fighting. Doing this in the middle of the night's crazy. I thought you liked excitement. Am I coming in a little closer, Mr. Carr? Oh, come on. I'm finding it kind of lonesome myself. I sure wish we was well out of this here business. Nah, it's a way of spending time. I see my own brother Lynch, Mr. Carter. I want nothing but a little fella. Had he done what they picked him up for? I don't know. Nobody never did know for sure. This case could be here as well. Well, a couple of shots more whiskey can't do my soul any harm. Listen, something's coming. Possibly.
Or maybe. Oh, fuck. What's the matter, Art? I'm shot. Where? Left shoulder. You fool, you must be drunk. Nobody but a drunken idiot would drive down a grade in the dark like that. I thought it was a stick-up. Oh, I thought... Rose Mapen. Stay your one. This is my husband, Mr. Swanson of San Francisco. See, no. Let it go, man. She just got married. Just let it go. When is it a setup? Seems too perfect an opportunity. Okay, maybe they're not. Drop it. It's all right, brother. You will. How does he know which one shot him, though? General, collect the guns. This is a posse, if that means anything to you. Well, we haven't done anything. He's going to get cut out. They won't take your eyes off him. It ain't that you're so dangerous, it's just that most of the men ain't never seen a real triple hanging. A hanging? Accused of? Rustling. Ever hear of it? Rustling. And murder. Uh, Mr. Martin, uh, what did we do? It's all right, Dad. There's some mistake. I don't think that they were the ones that did it. We got him, I say. Let's swing him before we all freeze to death. You're cold. Here's a fire. One. How the hell do you know they did it, though? I'll you the control. And your name? Donald Martin. Where are you from? Pike's Hole. That's a lie. This gentleman's from Pike's Hole. Years ago, and the places are right. The barns are all falling down, the sagebrush is sticking up through the porch. Well, I bought the place from him for $4,000. My wife's there right now. And my two kids. That's just too bad. Oh, shut up. Even in this godforsaken country, I've got a right to a trial. You're... Suit yourself, son. But this is all the hearing you're likely to get, short of the last judgment. Have you any? <laughs> I'm not going to ask you again. That is disgusting. Fifty head. Where'd you get him? From Mr. Kincaid. It's just what we figured, son. But I'm no rustler, though. I didn't steal them. I bought them and paid hard cash for them. So you can wait, can't you? So you can see Kincaid? Or ask about me over at Pike's Hole. That's a good one. He wants to cause the law slow and careless around here sometimes. We're here to see... <laughs> Who's to say you're not careless? The sheriff didn't even know we were coming. I beg your pardon. I should have said the deputy sheriff. But as this young man says, this is a farce. And it'll be murder if you carry it through. Yeah. All he's asking is... You're the only one, Arthur. If there's any justice in your proceedings, Tetley, it would only be after confession. And they haven't confessed. Well... I know it looks pretty bad giving a dead man for a witness, but it's the truth. Would you in my place? Well, I'd find out. I'd do a lot of finding out before I'd risk hanging three men who might be innocent. If it were only rustling, maybe, but... but... If you got any doubts, Tedley, I say let's call off this party. Take it back to judge like Davies wants. I still don't like it. Davies. Hanging murders is one thing, but to keep guys you don't know for sure did it. Yeah, he's completely right. While you shoot... The Mexican did it. Uh, he told me so. Juan couldn't have done anything. I was with him all the time. Well, if you've got to go through with this filthy comedy, you can at least let him alone, can't you? Shut up. First he won't talk. Now he talks too much. Fuck off. Stick together nice, don't they? Why do you keep asking me all these questions? You don't believe anything I tell you. Bring him along. You don't mean you're going to do it, really. You got the wait, I tell you. You got the wait. You got to... the... This is Remember horrendous. The Just a baby. Just a little baby. Never got a thing to go on. Nothing. I've got to write a letter. Complaint. With your permission, gentlemen, we'll wait. Till daylight. Bring him back. Fresh beef. Oh, Ma, fix up a spread for everybody. Can't call it stealing because the time of death, there won't be any owners. <laughs> oh, God, this guy. 
Like as I said, they're, they're taking a joy in it. It's entertainment for a lot of these people. <laughs> Sheriff, it's an awful long time getting anywhere. Suppose they don't get here at all. I think he's looking at this now and just thinking like this is horrific. Like what if you're wrong? Man? This is why uh, you don't like people like especially to, to today's day and age like we're celebrities and it's like a been accused of something and like people are always so quick to say oh guilty yeah has to be guilty you know you gotta have the trial first like you know unless there's like just unbelievably hard evidence you know but I remember like with Johnny Depp uh the trial of Amber Heard I remember um when it first kind of came about people saying oh cancel him cancel him and like you know we see how the trial went in you know and it just it can be dangerous sometimes to just dismiss someone when an accusation comes out and there hasn't been a trial you know uh, this film is really doing a good job on this um they could be guilty they could be i don't think they are i definitely don't think that the the guy with the family i don't think he did anything um and yet some of these people are just like it's like when, you know, when like there's like a big, like instant scandal or incident or like maybe a, a um, there's like maybe a, there's been a crash or something, someone has been badly injured. Sometimes people, and maybe without even realizing it, but kind of, you know, they're like, what oh, did you ever happen yesterday? Did you have it last night? It's like, there's like a surge of energy that goes through you in telling this dramatic incident you know um and i think it's embellished more here with these people that are laughing and sniggering they're getting a trill and a kick out of this Children, don't camp in the <laughs> absolutely don't horrendous Savior. Frank, Mr. Davies, it may be a fine letter, but if it's an honest letter, it's none of my business to read it. What right have you got to show my letter? Don't oh, raise your voice that way, Rustler. He's right, Smith. I told him I'd keep it for him, just trying to prove that you were... It's enough to be hanged by a bunch of bullying outlaws without having your private thoughts handed around to him for a joke. Oh, he's trying to get away. Here's his gun. Well... I guess we know now, don't we? Look. Say, that's Larry Kincaid's gun. Where do you get this? Somebody will take this bullet out of my leg, I'll tell you. Oh, he speaks American. In ten other languages, my dear. But I don't tell anything I don't want to in any of them. He's very polite, but has no stomach for blood, eh? Asked you where you got it. Told you. No, sorry. No, that's the truth. He did find it. Uh, Won't you even read it? Is it because you've made up your mind? You heard what Martin said about showing his letter? Yeah. What does it matter to the man or his wife who sees this letter if it saves him from hanging? Are you willing to abide by a majority decision? About the rest of you people. Sure. I think a lot of them are going to be biased, though. Everybody, is it putting this thing off and turning it over to the courts? Step over there. Reverend. He knew he wasn't going to. son oh, I like that I like that interesting character he's son knew 
that shithead was gonna know now. He should be hanged. This is absolutely repulsive. Where's the sheriff? I don't know what. Seven. Not a majority, I believe, Mr. Davy. It's like heaven. That light Any other message there. you'd like to leave, Mark? I, I don't want to. I, I'd like about time for a priest. There's no priest here. This man can hear me and take it to a priest. <laughs> that must have been an awfully busy night. I won't do it. You'll do it. I, I can't. We'll see to it that you can. She'll let him alone. This is not your affair, Carter. Thank you, just the same. Well, if he doesn't want to do it, you can't force him. If he doesn't believe that they're guilty, like he was one of the ones who wanted to go to an actual trial. Mr. Davis, will you find someone you can trust to look after my wife and children? You better take some older woman along. It's not going to be easy. Don't worry, your family will be all right. It's too bad, but it's justice. Justice? What do you care about yeah. justice? You don't even care whether you've got the right men or not. Yeah. All you know is you've lost. Fine company for a man to die with. Shut up! You shut up! You shut up! Who punched him? Was it? There he is. This is tough to watch. Don't do it. Finish it. Thought there might have been something else they could have proved that they were innocent. There we go. The uh, shoot's gonna come out now. We got all three of them. And we hung them too, Sheriff. Ah, Larry Kincaid's not dead. Not dead. But we just... Well, I just left Larry Kincaid with the doctor. I'm no. depending on you to tell me who did. Tell the truth. Justice wasn't served earlier, but it is now. All but seven. Yeah. God better have mercy on you. Wanting to prove a point. If you've got no objections, Mr. Davies, I'd like to read Martin's letter now. It'd be a good idea if a lot of people read it. How, like, gung-ho they were leaving. Look at him now. Because they just wouldn't listen, would they? You loved it. That's why you kept them waiting so long. I saw your face. It was the face of a depraved, murderous beast. Mm. We're innocent yet. You were cold crazy to see them hang. Yeah. To make me watch it. I'd say don't have contact with him ever again. Holy shit. We found that a couple of others don't need to feel guilty because they are the ones that wanted it to go to a trial. The others had the opportunity, but no. And you ought to read this letter too. I can't read. I get out of there. I couldn't live with these people. I'll read it to you. Mr. Davies will tell you what's happening here tonight. He's a good man and has done everything he can for me. Because it'll be over for me in a little while, but they'll have to go on remembering for the rest of their lives. Book, or judges, or lawyers. I like the way this is framed here with, with the rim of the hat, the way it's covering his eyes, so you can almost imagine it's, um, I can't remember his name, but the guy who wrote the letter who was hung. It's almost like he's saying it. Because you can't see Fonda's eyes in this moment. There can't be any such thing as civilization unless people have a conscience. And what is anybody's conscience except a little piece of the conscience of all men that ever lived? Kiss the babies for me, and God bless you. Your husband, Donald. So there could be a couple more suicides, possibly. Where are we going? 
away from here. He said he wanted his wife to get this letter, didn't he? Said there was nobody looking after the kids, did The dog again. Okay, just got done watching the Oxbow incident, and uh, this is one of the most powerful films uh, I've ever seen. Not just Western, but one of the most powerful films I've ever seen. Um, and I gotta say, the film made me angry. Uh, not in that, uh, in that I didn't enjoy it, or it was parts of it I disliked. Just in how much those characters that were pushing for the hanging annoyed me and pissed me off. Um, j just. I guess it's a testament to how impactful the film was that it conjured up those emotions in me. I felt so bad as it went on. At first, I wasn't sure, but as it went on, um, just felt so sorry for um, specifically the, the father, the guy of the, the three guys that were hung. Um, the more and more it went on, the more and more I felt likely that they didn't do it. Um, oh God, yeah, just I did. I oh. The, the the guy who the who kept with the, the the woman the woman who kept laughing and the guy that uh, was constantly stuck on the drink those two absolutely hated them so much because they were taking joy in the situation you know laughing away you know it was just fun to them like a, 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 a bit of an adventure a night out for them uh, then there was the young guy's father as well just horrendous as well. Um, yeah, a lot of shithead characters in this, um, and then the ones like Davies and then Harry and Fonda's character and a couple others, the son, really liked them, you know, they appreciated where they were coming from and trying to stop it, you know, uh, but particularly for that father, God, just, just absolutely awful. And just as I came back, to, as I was mentioned during the reaction, it was back to that thing of like, you can't always just assume someone is guilty without having a fair trial first, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, hugely impactful film, really, in really engaging, um, yeah, top, top stuff. Uh, but guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Oxbow incident. Um, would it be your favourite uh, Henry Fonda film? Um, would it be your favourite Western film? Let me know where, where it would rank for you and your overall thoughts on it. Uh, but until next time, guys, it's long before.